What's good, sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. And before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a giveaway, and the answer is as simple as just subscribing to this channel and subscribing to my other channel, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. If you want to know what I'm giving away, I will leave a link to the video in the description down below as well. And one more thing I do want to say before I start is, why are you guys hating so much? Like, honestly, I, on my last video that I made about these shoes, you guys had so much hate, hella dislikes, and you guys are saying clickbait this, click, clickbait that. But I finally got the shoe for you guys, so stop hating. Just spread some love. Anyways, moving on with the video, I am reviewing the Adidas EQT Support 9317, as you can see right here. And if you guys are curious as to what the box looks like, it is a regular Adidas original box. And on the front, you do have your size tag with a picture of the shoe and the size, which is my size 7.5. But we're not here to listen to the box, we're here to actually... Actually, let's go back and talk about the box for a little bit. I wish they would have actually made it in a nicer box, just because this is a brand new shoe. They are kicking off the year with a brand new silhouette. Actually, I'm a little confused now. This is an equipment shoe, but it came with an Adidas original box. I don't understand. I feel like they should have put it in the Adidas equipment box. And if you guys do know about that box, it is gray, and then it does have the same stripes, I think, but it, instead it's all in green. Anyways, moving on with the shoe. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this shoe. I finally got it, and before I start, I do want to say big shout out to my boy Nas. He hooked it up. He got it on the Adidas Confirmed app, and he let me cop the pair. Anyway, starting off with the toe box. It is made out of a prime knit and it does have that digital camel pattern. The prime knit does follow up through where my finger is. It goes up the stitch. And then if you move on to the inside of the toe, you do have these signature stripes that are stitched in. And if you move up on the shoe a little bit, you do have this new book material where on top you do have your EQT support stamped on. And then below that or right under that, you do have the new book material that does actually switch colors. So you can tell it's really good quality. And as we move into the middle of the shoe, you do have... The three stripes right here that hold down the laces right at the end. And your laces are regular flat black laces, nothing too crazy going on there. But if you do move down to the bottom lace, you do have this leather tab. It does say EQT on it, and it's made out of leather, as you can see. You can bend it. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but from there you can see it bends. I low-key wish they would have made it metal. Anyways, moving on to the tongue. What a lot of you probably don't know, because I didn't know until I first saw the shoe, which did surprise me, is that the tongue is a burrito tongue. That's at least what they call it and the tongue gets tighter as you adjust the laces so as you guys can see you can't pull the tongue out it's one of those kind of shoes which i do like a lot it's just different from the regular tongue that a lot of shoes have and then you have your patch that does say equipment and then right below that it says adidas with adidas logo next to it and then below that it says adv forward slash 91 dash 17 and this is very controversial a lot of people are saying that the shoe is a 91 17 but if you guys check this out, which I was talking about this to the store manager of Adidas, the box says 9317, guys. I've been getting so many comments and so much hate of people saying, yo, it's a 9117, look at the patch. Yeah, but look at the box. Like, which one do you go off of, the shoe or the box? And supposedly what that's supposed to mean is that the 91 or the 93, which is the real year, is the year that they kicked off the equipment line, and then 17 is the year that it is now. So that's why if you look at the pair that came out last year, you are going to get... 9116. So I'm just gonna say one thing. Do your research before you start talking crap in the comments because people will roast you. I mean, maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Depends how I'm feeling that day. But there are people that will roast you just for sounding stupid in the comments, especially if they're trying to prove you wrong. Well, anyways, moving back to the sneaker. Under that patch, you do have this type of stitched mesh right under it. I'm not exactly sure what they call this material, but as you guys can see, it does look like a mesh, but it's like a stitched kind of. Mesh. I don't really know how to call it. But if you move on to the side of the shoe, you do have your TPU cage and then you do have your heel cage right there as well in their new color turbo red. It goes all the way around to the other side of the shoe. And if you put your shoelaces through that and tighten them, it will give you a more lockdown feel. And Adidas decided to throw this new material in there as well. Well, I don't know if it's new or not, but I don't even know what you call this soft material. Let me see if I can give you guys a good angle of what it looks like. It looks very smooth as you guys can see, but it's hard to tell since it's white. But if you move on to the sock liner, you do have what they call their ortho liner, if I'm not mistaken. And this material is super soft, so you can wear this with low ankle cut socks. And it will feel really soft on your ankle and it won't hurt. At least not for the white part. This black part does seem a little bit more rough and as well on the tongue. Which I don't know why they didn't keep the same material all the way through, but they probably have a purpose for it. Adidas is not dumb. Moving on to the insole that I can't remove, so I can't really show you guys that well. I don't know if you guys can see the color there, but that's the color that it is inside. Moving on to the best part of the shoe, which is why they raise their prices so high on an equipment shoe, is the midsole boost. Honestly, I love what they did with this. It's 
absolutely perfect. They couldn't make it any better. And one thing I do have to say about this boost is that it is super soft. It is probably the softest boost I've ever felt in my life. If I push into it, you guys can see how much I can push into this boost. And I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard, but still, if I push soft, it's easily pushed in. But even if I push hard, you can see how far it goes in. Now I'm going to compare it to the V1 Ultra Boost. This is a lot harder. I can't really push into that as much as I can push into this. So by that, I'm assuming that this shoe is going to be way more comfortable when I have it on feet. What I like most about the midsole is the fact that they put the three stripes on there and they debossed it out of the boost, which is super dope. And they gave it this nice smooth cut right in here. And everything is really squared off, as you guys can see. There is like a surface on top, a flat surface. So you can see there's a corner there, a corner here, and then it's cornered here as well. I honestly think that's a really dope look. It's better than the roundness. I don't really like too much roundness going on. I like straight edges just because it shows a lot of definition on things. And what also kills it has to be how they like smooth this out right here. It gives that midsole a bigger look. I don't know what it is about this shoe, but it just looks so good. I guess it's just the angles they have on it because this part inclines in. This part inclines in at a good angle as well. And then it has that like smooth look. They did really, really, really good on this shoe. And last but not least, let's move on to the bottom of the shoe. You do have a nice rubber outsole with a bunch of windows so you can see the boost. And they did make it black so it doesn't get dirty as bad so the shoe won't look as bad when it's worn. Even though you don't really look at that. Why they have this big boost window here, I don't know. I guess so you can feel the boost from the bottom as well. And something really smart they did with this shoe, or I think it's with all equipment shoes, is that they made the toe have this like nice texture and on the heel as well so you do have good grip. And that pretty much sums up the shoe guys. There's nothing else to say about this shoe. I give you guys all the insight I can. Since it is a brand new shoe, they do have new materials here and there. They do have a new color. They did put boost on an equipment shoe. These shoes did sell out. There's actually a few people that didn't pick them up at the Adidas store, which I was planning on going and pick them up tomorrow just so I can sell them. But I'm just let them go and let whoever gets there first pick them up. They are going for $180, and after tax, it goes up to $190. So make sure you have your money ready if you are going to purchase them. And I know I did say I'm not a big fan of this color in particular, but I had to get it just because it is an OG shoe. It's a brand new silhouette. I couldn't pass up on this shoe. Actually, I won't be doing on foot today just because this shoe does fit a little small. I put it on just now. It does feel a little tight around this part of the foot. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wait for the size 8 to come in. I did just check as well, and apparently the order through Kith went through. And I didn't know that until I just saw it just now. So I will do a separate video for the on foot. So if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy the review, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by Secret Comfort Lauderdale, which is on February 11th. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you enter the giveaway as well. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Kicks Times 2. These are also my boys. Go ahead and check them out. They do sneaker reviews and stuff as well. So go show them some love. Go subscribe to them. Do whatever you got to do. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker signing out. Peace.